So she goes after these two minutes of waiting. 
into the cars. She looks like this in the little distance. And there on the throne, she sees Son Juan as God's heart. Oh no! And faints. But her fainting is the fainting of an ecstatic person. She soon awakes and she happily moves forward. The story is like this. We are all described as Prakriti, female, and we are souls, in other words, and we live in this world like the, uh, this girl who lives in the forest. And uh, uh, the, I will not go through all the points in the analogy because it takes a long time. Somehow or other, we meet uh, upon a divine uh, person, person or divine item or essential being that is the holy name. At the beginning, we do not uh, really recognize him, like a uh, girl who thought, well, he's a messenger, he's an emissary, there's a message. So the same way when we meet the Holy Name, we think this is a song, a spiritual song, good for meditation. But we have not yet fully understood the entire depth of the Holy Name. As we move along with Him and we cross the various obstacles in our life, we fall more and more in love with Him. And finally, we recognize the messenger or the holy name is not just uh, someone sent from a spiritual dimension. No, this is Krishna himself. How do you like this story? Can you understand the hints and the you can understand that I thought so because you live by one of the oceans, the Pacific Oceans. <laughs> <laughs> So, yes, the Holy Name, in other words, uh, becomes various things on our journey with Him. At first, He is a song. Then, we might begin to feel some spiritual energy. This is the adiatic understanding of the Holy Name. But then, uh, finally, we will, find, we will realize the Adidavic understanding. That is, He is divine. He's God himself in some vibration. But you need to stay with him. You need to travel with him uh, for some time. You need to make a relationship with him. My dear devotee, anyone who establishes a sincere relationship with the Holy Name will see how the Holy Name reveals more and more of his mysteries. Uh, I want to give an example. I met from your community, Radha Madhava. Radha Madhava. And first, Radha Madhava, the first time I saw him, he had a most attractive address. It was something that went like this. <laughs> uh, and I thought, this is a person who is very conscious of hair fashion. Um, that was my understanding. Then I met him in Radadish, where he was uh, in this amazing technical team who uh, recorded the Radadish medals and who broadcasted the Radadish medals all over the world. And I thought, my God, this man is a is a lover of computer. Then I had no relationship with him. I was there when I don't to Europe to to really bring this uh, fiance and future wife uh, from Europe to the war-ridden uh, Europe to America.
Amerika, wo es der Kongress Beruhig aktiviert wird, wenn der Markt da geht. Und er sagt, mein Gott, er ist nicht um die Erhärmung, er ist nicht nur eine technologische Visit, but he is a very, very deep devotee of Krishna. And my relationship, in other words, uh, became so, so much so that I realized more and more of his personality. So that yesterday I signed his marriage certificate as a one of the priests who had to sign. Uh, so, and the Holy Name also. Uh, when we have more and more of a relationship with the Holy Name, we will realize more and more of His glory. And let us uh, think for a moment. We are not only Homo sapiens, we are Homo relationships. I don't know that. The, the Latin word here. Uh, we are beings who define ourselves by our relationships. For instance, now we sit on this floor here. We have a relationship to the floor. Mm -hmm. We have relationships to our thoughts. We call them my thoughts. We have a relationship to a man and a woman whom we call our parents. We have a relationship to friends. Some of you are in a um, marriage relationship and have a relationship to your spouse and relationships to their children. We, as human beings, always define ourselves in terms of our relationship. And those relationships make us into the person we are. So, Mm -hmm. I want to suggest to all of you to uh, have, to enter the real vastness of spiritual life by defining yourself in relationship to the most, this is not comes from your English word, to the most accessible form of the Lord, which is His holy name. And if you do so, you will see something wonderful happens to you. I would like to share with you my own little story. Uh, I had, um, when I, I was so young and so foolish <laughs> and everything, and I watched one day, my favorite um, program on the TV, it was called, in those times, you will smile, Beat Club. Not, not Fight Club, but a Beat Club. Beat, and the, there was beat music, you know, that beat. It was the four, it, you can say rock and roll. Really. So, so there was, the TV announcer uh, announced that um, one of my um, distant, distant heroes or friends, friends um, acquaintances, had died. Uh, it was, uh, I do not know if you remember, there was a group called Rolling Stones. Maybe it's still, is it still active together? Uh, oh my God, there must be a very ancient now. Mm -hmm. uh, so, so the guitarist, Brian Jones, had died. There was a, he had drowned in the swimming pool and we saw on the TV, you know, the swimming pool and two of his dogs were there crying, crying, crying because their master uh, was uh, found dead uh, in, the, in the swimming pool. Mm. We didn't see the cops. The cops had been already brought somewhere else, but we saw the dogs at the swimming pool, and we heard the story that he was found in the morning, and he was drowned. And I had known this person vaguely from spending a celebration with, with him. 
He was a troubled person. There was a lot of quarrel in the group. And his position was unclear. Uh, so, anyways, I was very, very miserable. Uh, I thought, is this the end of everything? A few shovels of dirt on a carcass and a priest who lies about how good you were without knowing you. You know, is this the end of everything? I was like this uh, romantic sadness of a teenager. So the, then the announcer said, now we give you an exciting new band from London. It is managed by our own George Harrison. And then it's, uh, the new clip came. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. And it was boing, you know, and uh, yes, I was thinking, wow, that is really exciting. I had just seen, met uh, the Hare Krishna Mahamantra sung by the devotees. Um, I remember later I met them on the street and I asked them to write down the mantra. And one Saturday night, when I had just um, looked at the movie Frankenstein and was scared to death, <laughs> I took, it was already after midnight, I, 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 I feared he was coming at me from every corner, <laughs> and, 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 and leading that noise, you know. So I had taken the slit out, I had gone under my blanket, uh, and I had the torchlight, and I sing the whole night, the heart of the mantra, to it. I wanted to avoid the, this certain attack of Frankenstein. Uh, <laughs> it's it singing, and uh, I lost my fear. I, I, I was uh, there, and then I finally took the blanket off. Uh, I saw the morning sun entering through already the, the window. So, uh, from that early beginnings of my relationship with the Holy Name, uh, I have become a chanter, and I uh, feel many more things now. I realize that only uh, is uh, are we all eternal, there is no death for us. I realized many other things. Not only is the Hare Krishna Mantra a good song, I realized many, many things, many things which I'm too shy to speak about in public. Um, but I'm only at the very beginning. My point here is start a serious relationship um, or a relationship, however you can do it, and you will see great wonders. Um, and I want to make now a little exercise with you about where you can work on your relationship. Are you willing and ready? Yes! yes. 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 yes.